welcome back to Jinx Verse. It's your girl, Orion Kong, back again with another a video. So today's video, we're going to be shooting a story time, a story time for you, you, you. Put some curry on some thyme, mix it in to make it stew. Hey, story time for you, 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 hey, it's you, everywhere it's you, everywhere it's you, for you. Things that happened to me in secondary school, high school, and yeah, things that could amuse you. So, I'm also going to start off with this really, really sad story. It's sad for me, but it's funny. It's a funny, sad story. So, we always do this um, sports, like competition, tournament kind of stuff in GS3 where you get all the the different sports but there was basketball football and then they introduced hockey there was tennis there was um table tennis as well ping pong i guess so it's basically class versus class so just three gold versus just three crimson or just three diamond versus just three platinum or our classes were named after jewels and stuff because <laughs> we're gems duh so that's basically what was happening it was in that whole season of competition and fun and sports. We had a hockey game. Most of the times that we played hockey, it's not that we were good because we had we had only like um theor theory like in writing what we should do. We had never actually practiced it. So most of the stuff was just luck, like our teammate was just really, really whack. So we're just like scaling through, we were winning, we were winning and I was on the team but I wasn't doing anything. I was like the the defender, the people that are in front of the post, that are not the keeper. So like there's a keeper and then there's two of us here. But then they never got to us because our girls were just brutally like just killing them on the other side. Not like we were scoring or anything. Maybe we we'll score one in the whole game. But we went, they didn't let the ball get to us to the point where I had to do anything. So I was just basically there. I didn't even know if I could play. Because I had never played, it was supposed to be our time to practice and to learn and to whatever, but it never got to me. So I, I, I now like, I calmed down. I was like, okay, they got this, you know, I don't need to stress. I just need to look good, right? So I was wearing my outfit, it was like white on white. I bought some socks, knee length socks, white as well. My shoes were white. I was looking popping. People were just complimenting me and telling me, oh, you look nice, you look nice, you look this, you look that. Because it was like the finals or something. So it was a big deal. It's not, it's not ice hockey. It's field hockey. So, and then they were playing. They were playing. Everything was good. But the people we were playing against were like us. Like they were not letting people pass, and they were a lot stronger than the other teams that we had met. Obviously, that's why we were the only two teams left. So they were just playing and playing and playing and playing. And then the ball was rolling towards me. It was my moment to shine. It was time. To use the stick it was time to not only look good but do good you know what I'm saying and I I, I battered up right and then I hit it with all my power and might but I lago like <laughs> I missed the ball totally like the ball was here and this was my swing over here it was it was not even close and then the ball went straight into the goalpost because with the with the energy and the the force that i drove at that ball it was like a short thing that was going to hit it so the keeper had already calmed down yeah and then i missed it and so it just like rolled in and that was the only the only thing that was scored in that entire game and i was the one that cost it and everyone was just shouting on my head what did you do how did you miss that yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just there like, and then for like the next week, people were calling me Lago. <laughs> and when we were going to change, because we had to change back to our uniforms and all, get back to classes and all. They were just, they didn't even let me have peace. It was like, look at this girl. Ah, just ordinary ball, just ordinary hits, just this, just that. Just, they were not making fun of my dressing. That I just look good. I don't know how to do anything. She can call that out. <sighs> I'm sorry guys, it was my fault. They were like, yeah, it's your fault, we know it's your fault. <laughs> it was a funny time now. Now that I think about it, it was funny. But then I was like, oh my gosh, I'm dead. Another time that I totally, totally just brutalized myself. This one was worse. I'm, I was, I am very playful. I'm a very playful person. But I was way worse in 
in primary school and I was worse at, if that's a word, in secondary school or high school. I went to ISL, there was a lot of grass, a lot of field, a lot of uh, places to play. And so that's what I was doing, I was playing. I used to play with a lot of boys. I had, I had, I have a lot more guy friends than I do girlfriends. Right now I have like a lot more girlfriends than, that I have, than I have ever had in my life. But I have a lot more guy friends because I'm very, very playful. And we used to stay late a lot in school because my mom was working a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She used to come late to come and pick us. Not like we were complaining because more time to play, right? So I was pursuing, this guy was making fun of my pimples, yeah? I think it was Otime, I'm not even sure. It just rained. Why it rains? You don't run. When you come, you should know this. But it just rained, so like the mud, the field, the everywhere was just like wet and muddy and slippery and all. But he made fun of me for something. I think it was my my pimples or my hair, I don't remember. But I was pushing, he was like, counter, 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 like that kind of run, stop, talk, run, stop, talk, run, that kind of thing. So then at the point where he stopped, we were at the kiosk. The kiosk is like, but basically I was in the middle of school that kind of thing i was where everyone could see me if they were looking yeah and then i i saw an opportunity he was stopped he was talking and he wasn't paying attention and so i ran with all my power and my that was going to catch him and then he ducked and i went like i slid on the mud thingy and i went straight into a puddle of mud water my uniform is white and green it's a white shirt with green pinafore because i was still in junior school then and like i felt like here psh, 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 and this half of me was covered in mud like mud mud not like like mellow water like mud mud like it was like you could you could you could like do that and remove stuff it was terrible and then people were laughing they were pointing and laughing and they were pointing it was after school so it was like there were a lot less people but it was terrible and i had to go to the tap and like wash some of the stuff out then i was wet i was cold i was transparent because i'm wearing a white shirt but i still wear underwear anyways and my mom wasn't going to come until late so i had to stay like that but the good thing was that i would have probably dried before she came so <laughs> thank god i think all these stories end with me be everybody laughing at me <laughs> or making fun of me it was terrible but it was funny it was terrible so because i don't want to make this video too long i'll just stop at three stories then if you want to hear more stories just tell me boo in the comment section below and tell me one of your terrible but funny um high school moments or high school memories that you remember now this last one is very very terrible but very funny so in secondary school i had to go pick my sister up from primary school then bring her back to my secondary school my school is like here and our school is like on the other side like over here but like on the other side yeah so it was isl to start school i had to walk go and get her then bring her back to to ISL or will stay at staff school depending on how tired I was because it was a really long walk but either when my mom came she came to ISL my school secondary school and she honked the, the horn honked honked and then we come out because we knew I don't know why people say that it's weird that we knew how the horn sounded but we knew like we would be upstairs we'll be in class we'll be in a building in let's say reading room or something and once she presses out like honks her horn we just know and we come outside and we we'll go to the car so if she does that like three times and we don't answer that means we're in start school because we're not allowed to have phones in school <gasps> shocker private school kids like what <laughs> so for the first time she was not the one supposed to come to me i knew that she was, she was supposed to come to me i knew but i wanted to walk I didn't think it's true. And so I went all the way to staff school. And while I was at staff school, mommy got to ISL. 
and Corey had gotten to ISO. My sister had gotten to ISO. I don't know how she passed me. I don't know where I was walking that I didn't see her. But they had both got into ISO and she had picked her up. She's like, Why is your sister? She's like, I don't I didn't find her when I came. So by the time my mom was going to staff school, I was coming to ISO. Then my friends told me that they picked my sister in and around and they went to staff school to go and like find me. So like, okay, cool. Then it started raining, yeah. What am I supposed to do? Wait, right? Nope. I went under the rain to staff school because I, I felt like showing I was born. Knowing that she was around, I went thinking I'll meet them there. I don't know how we passed each other, how we... She was sharp. She just left because my sister's friends were like, oh, they just left. They were looking for you. Yeah, yeah. Then we just kept like missing each other, like just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Until I used a Gatesman's phone or, or somebody's phone to call my mom and she's like, where are you? What? She was she was angry like she was mad And I was like, I'm in school. I've, I've been looking for you guys. She was like, shut up Are you supposed to she shout like flipped out on me on the call. I was like, she was like wait there I was wet. I was like dripping water because I'm walking in the rain and I knew what I was doing you know? But I was just bored Oh, I wanted to walk. I just felt I felt like playing so by the time she got to ISO, she parked in front of the school freaking gates, like in front of the gates, like the gates, like entrance, the beginning of the end. That's where she parked. She got out of the car and she just reached into this like tree or we plant or whatever and she plucked like a branch and she starts peeling off the leaves as she's walking closer to me. Like I was like, I'm ready. And I wet and she was she was pulling and she was getting closer. She was pa, 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 flogging me. Sha 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 sha. It's like well damn. <laughs> I was holding the tears back in because I was in front of the school. There was a crowd. People were looking from outside, from inside. I could not cry. If you cry, mm -mm, that's when it will haunt you forever. So I was just holding myself in and then the gates came I was like, oh my dog, yeah, yeah. They begged me from begged her for my life and she should not kill me. Then she like he calmed her down and he told me to go 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 inside like the car. And then I went into the car. And once I sat in the car, like I was like Bah and like the the tears just were just psh, 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 ah, ah, tinted glass you. And I think that was like the, the the biggest one for me. Well, like, yeah. So the man calmed her down, collected the twig. Cause I know when when she entered, he knew that when she entered the car, she might just like continue from the back seat. And then we went home. I was still wet, covered in the cane dirt mark. And yeah. Do I regret it? No. Do I regret any of those instances? No, because I got to walk under the rain and have fun. I got to lunge at my enemy even though I missed. And I got to look good even though I didn't know how to play hockey. It's better to try and fail and to not try at all. <laughs> hey guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you had a good laugh or you found it entertaining in some way. I hope you could put a smile on your face. And yeah, make you laugh at my misery. My terrible but really funny story time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe if you're new, share if you're old, share if you're new. So just repost. And thank you. See you next Wednesday. But